Boom, we're live. This is Tio and the Arcane Bear, and today we are going to be dropping in where I think gold could be headed, which is a down the tube at the current moment. And with that in mind, let's dive in and take a look at the charts and some of the reasons why we think gold could become worth a lot less than it is today. So all things aside, gold has been money for quite well, quite a long time, thousands and thousands of years. We actually have records of interest rates and what was money. Gold and silver happen to be two of those things. But in the last hundred years, information technology has taken the world by storm, and it's no surprise. It moves faster than anything we've ever seen before in the world of industry, and because of that, I think it's time to make some quick assertions. Now, for those of you that have been following the Bear family for quite some time, you know that one of the early stages of what I like to look for in where I want to purchase something is down near the 236 line. Now, we usually trade um, with the Fibonacci retracement tool. So we currently have a gold chart sitting up right now between 1998 and the current year of 2018. Now, this is why I think it's dangerous. It's because this looks actually quite similar to the Bitcoin chart when it was up at $20,000 back down and then up to $12,000. So actually, if you were to add a zero to where gold currently was sitting, it actually looks identical to the previous Bitcoin chart. Now, Bitcoin is more like information technology, blockchain. That's exactly what it is, as a matter of fact. I don't care whether you think it's money or not. It's information technology, and it tra changes the way we trade via the internet. It will change the landscape of everything. And if you don't think that, well, I feel sorry for you because it probably means you're invested in gold. So this goes out as a warning to anyone who's been invested in gold for a long time, because as far as I know, this beautiful, nice, worthless rock around my neck that currently sits is not as valuable as the underlying blockchain technology that sits in Bitcoin. And the reason that is, is because it is immutable. Now, as far as we know from, conserv from conservative um, uh, guesses that if you were to be able to mine all the gold that was on the planet, you could actually cover the planet in two feet of gold all the way around it you, from top to bottom. And that's a lot. Whereas Bitcoin only has 21 million and that's all there ever will be. Now it's divisible by a significant amount more, I think 10 decimal points. And that's very valuable, obviously, because it can become worth uh, more and you can use decimals. So a single Satoshi could end up being maybe a dollar or 10, 20, who knows. But what I want to do is give a warning to anyone that's in, been in the gold era for quite some time. I know I used to buy a lot of gold. I trade all my gold and, and silver for Bitcoin in the early of 2016. Thumbs up to that idea. Smash that, th smash that subscribe button as well if you're new to the Bear Family. And check out the Telegram channel to stay up to date about anything crypto, blockchain, or Bitcoin. If you're new to this space, we hope you join us. Uh, and at least look for a beneficial conversation where we can learn. Just arguments where you think you're right isn't the right way to go. I don't think I'm right about gold, but what I can tell you is that if this was a Bitcoin or any other crypto chart, I would think that this is a dangerous place to be sitting in, and I'll show you why. We're going to cut the top of this high with uh, the top of our Fibonacci extension retracement tool and right down through the bottom between into 1998 there, somewhere around the $200 mark. Now, we don't actually have any previous history um, in trading view here. So let's just use the 1998 mark of around $200 as our current explosive trend. So the, because it's, again, if you were to imagine that um, this price was around $18,000, $20,000 for Bitcoin and then this drop back down to and then up to twelve, and then up there again, the next falls that you see in gold are likely down to the $1,000 range, the $800 range, and if it holds anywhere true to the nature of what we have seen before, and I don't want to hear anyone cry wolf and manipulation, is that you may actually see gold, gold, one of the oldest monies on the planet, come down to $600. Now, everyone's going to argue, uh, and, it, and they're very well to be doing so, that the U.S. dollar is hyper in a hyperinflationary phase and that there's a lot of deflation going on in the communities that use the U.S. dollar, but around the rest of the world, these dollars are becoming worth less and less and less. Um, or sorry, their emerging market currencies are becoming worth less but uh, and going into the U.S. dollar, but there will be a time, probably around 2020, where I think the U.S. dollar will finally get its big puncture. Now, that means over all of our, our conservative guesses where we had thought the dollar would have been out the window in 2016 from the printing and quantitative easing of 2008, we have not hit that. This jet is still flying up, and I believe the U.S. dollar has now more power than it did before as these emerging market currencies start to pop. Now, with that in mind, I do think gold is going to show that same face because it doesn't hold the value that it used to. It a, does not have any industrial use almost at all, especially when you compare it with something like silver, who's already at its all-time lows and down from that peak of the highs around $50 to $60. So silver might be a significantly better bet than gold, but I would be very weary as a gold owner who had any trust in this as a store value because losing half of its value might be a very short-term and near future. Now, 
it might be manipulation because we do have proofs of that everywhere down the line through all this derivative trading and nonsense bullshit, which they should not be allowed to do. But excuse my words and my uh, uneducated sentiments here, but the truth of the reality is it doesn't have the value that information technology has. You can't send gold across borders very easily. Now, you can take a certain amount, but even if you clip that, you're talking weight restrictions on everywhere you go. Blockchain blows that out of the water for significant, significant reasons. Now, I'm only doing this as, again, to the, a warning to any conservative or contrarian investor who might have invested in gold like I myself had. I originally bought around $1,200. I sold somewhere near the top, and I got the heck out of gold because this is this 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 line we see here this is not this is not a stable growth development and the likely return even potentially down to six hundred dollars is now at stake here um, i would be very weary uh, but silver has a lot more upside this is Tio with the arcane bear please let me know your thoughts below i'm hoping that there are actually a bunch of contrarian traditional investors that join this space uh, because we need all the support and sentiments that you can so please start the conversation down below with your comments i do my best to answer them or reply and again my favorite sentiments here is that for anyone that I meet, I do believe I can learn something. Now, how much of something I can learn? Well, I guess it kind of depends who you are and how much you would like to leave in the comments. Remember to give us those thumbs up. If you're new to the Bear Family, pound that subscribe button or gently tap your mouse if you don't want to break things. Join the Telegram channel in the links below so you can stay up to date with anything blockchain, Bitcoin, or cryptocurrency. Although we do go over things like turmeric tea, ayahuasca, and marijuana. Entrepreneurialism is a strange thing, but we love to ride the waves. This is Tio with the Arcane Bear. We're signing off for the rest of the day, and we'll see you guys next time. Bam.